Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Talflater Mouse. Today we have an exciting test using Tim Hamilton's new design called the Copperhead. These have never been tested before and we're going to bring you along and show you the results. Now if you're not subscribed to Tim's channel, The Ballistic Machinist, be sure to do that right now. He'll be uploading his own tests very soon. This is a 12 gauge projectile with 8 copper pedals that fragment upon impact. In our test today, we'll be propelling these to around 1,400 feet per second, but if you know Tim, he likes to push the boundaries and he'll probably get these things up to about 1,700 feet per second. Tim believes his design would be an ideal lead-free hunting round. Okay, first time ever tested. Smooth bore. Tim hasn't even tested these things. He doesn't even know if they'll work or not. <laughs> well, we're going to find out for him. Yeah. Let's see, um, how far away are we? 15 yards or so? Yeah, right at 15. Okay. We got the Mossberg Loud and Boomer here. Okay, smooth four. Okay, I'm ready. All right, go for center mass. Oh my gosh, look at that thing fly. Yeah, so far, it's looking excellent. Good stability. Point of, and, aim, and, point of impact. Yeah. I guess I could. That thing just turned that thing into a. Just puckered that, that Kevlar up. That's the eBay Kevlar. Stopped it. There it is. <laughs> oh my. Wow. <laughs> Let's see that. that that's that's kind of cool. Well, folks, you're seeing it for the first time. The Copperhead in action. It looks like it's flying real stable. Accuracy was very good. And look what it did to that Kevlar eBay panel. And of course, because we're using a dry target, we're not getting fragmentation from hydrostatic action. Wow. In test number two, the projectile isn't quite as stable. It's important to show when things don't work perfectly too, and Tim will be able to use this information to improve the, the final design, maybe just a improved gas seal. Okay, FBI calibrated wet uh, jeans. That's what the FBI uses, I believe. <laughs> Good hydrostatic um, target, I hope. Still smooth bore. Soon we'll be going to the rifle uh, mass accelerator tube, but hang on there. If it'll do good with smooth, that's the ma it's where, that's where the magic happens. Okay, where are you aiming at? At the rubber band? Yeah, that. Uh... Right in the center mass there. Okay. Yep. Hit it. Our forensic team is on there. Danny, also the launch director, nearly hit the rubber band. I tried. That's pretty good. Look at this. Full pass through. Okay, now the moment of truth. Unravel those babies and let's see if we can find any, any other uh, mysteries in there. There you go. There's some sweet pants there. I bet you put these on eBay. Yeah, yeah. I could wear those still without being embarrassed. I look hip. Genuine Levi Strauss. Heck yeah. <laughs> Is there any sign of fragmentation? I'm not sure if this... Yeah. Oh, there's one. Okay. There's one. Just shook it out of the... Leg. Okay. Who, who doesn't like a pair of sexy pants like that? Test number three did a little better, a little, a little more stability, but again we see that o-ring getting shredded. That's a, an important clue that I think Tim will be able to work out. If you look closely you can see that the projectile has fragmented. A lot of the little uh, copper teeth are flickering around in the sunlight. What's really surprising in this shot is it didn't look very impressive in real time. But look how it just liquefied 
that denim material. That's just wild. Okay, the block of clay. I think it's going to dis disintegrate that, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, full rifling this time. Spin. Let's see if uh, it makes it more accurate or not. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. Engage. Jeez. There's nothing left of it. Okay, using full rifling, we have good spin, and it's really interesting how that O-ring is kind of stretched out from centrifugal force. The shot placement was a little low. That can always be adjusted for. And somewhere in that big mess is the copper petals that have fragmented. Absolutely impressive energy transfer, especially to that laminated flooring. It just tore that thing up. Did not expect that to happen. Okay, wet magazines. Actually, a, a very good simulation of, of, of meaty tissue. Inexpensive, very informative of what's going on. Rifled barrel again. Ah, OG certified. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. I didn't think it would go through. That's pretty impressive. USMC. That's a sweet Chinese. Certified. Uh, yeah. Sweet little little knife there. In fact, we ought to do a, a foster just to compare. People are like, shoot a normal slug. What 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 the heck's a normal slug, you know? Alright. No fragments. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. Okay, stop right there. You see where you see that where it's starting to fragment there? You see those eight right there. marks on there? Yeah. We'll probably find those. Alright, let's go through here real quick. That's why I love wet magazines. Look at that. These are a permanent cavity and it's recyclable. I won't tell you what finger that is. <laughs> oh. Here we go. We got a fragment first. Okay. We got two. Still traveling. There's another one in there. Another one. Yeah. They're all in that same little area. I bet, I bet if you look That's at that one closer. One. Yep. Is that another one? There's another one. Okay. Good fragmentation. And that it looks like that's where the rest of the projectile just went right through. Yep, I think that was the end of our fragmentation. Wow. Uh, yeah. One more here. Yep, no more fragments. <laughs> wow. So what? Uh, good uh, two and a half inches of Fragmentation spread. And that's tough. That's tough. Those magazines are tough to get through. That's about all we're going to recover right there. Okay. There's probably other ones hidden in there. You know what you need is a metal detector, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> Again, with full rifling and spin stabilization, meh, not as stable as you might imagine. But we'll see how Tim's tests come out when he releases his video. If you look at the right side, you'll see that the main body of the projectile has passed all the way through and is still going. Okay, three inch Magnum Foster. Are you using the rifled barrel for that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just for comparison. Okay. Now in this test, a lot of wackiness is going on. Here comes the true ball foster slug. Pretty darn accurate, even through rifling, huh? And then the wad, following a couple feet behind it, enters the same hole. That's a pretty accurate wad. But wait, there's more. As we could see, the uh, foster slug is all mushroomed out. It's kind of the shape of a donut at this point, but it had just enough energy to fall out the back of this stack of wet magazines. That's pretty wild. There we go. 
Started expanding, getting a little fatter. This is a little different type of damage. Really tearing things up, and that's about where the wad stopped. Oh, look at that. It broke. Yep. Yeah, that thing barely squeaked out the back. That's funny. I think I even saw it on the high speed camera just bouncing off the table. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't, you know, that was a three inch shell. All in the same hole. Yeah, that's, wish I was that accurate. Triple tap. <laughs> Let's do a ballistic gel test with these, with our ballistic booger. How's this? <laughs> Finally! Finally. Thank you to Jim Hamilton, the ballistic machinist. Yep. Sent this out. He. This. He was tired of our nonsense shooting that booger gel. And I really do appreciate it. We'll put this to good use. This is 10% ballistic FBI block. Excellent. Open it up. So we are official. Show out show what it's what clear ballistics gel is supposed to look like. Can you just plop it out of there? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. I think it's gonna be a case of once you get it out of the box, you'll never get it back. Look at that! My goodness. Look at that! That is a thing of beauty. <laughs> I almost see you. Yeah. Get some plastic gel. There you go. Shut up now. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right. Right in the center there, Danny. <laughs> there we go. Oh my. <laughs> okay, we got a kind of a weird setup here. Got the white box in the back and aluminum foil underneath, all that to kind of uh, utilize as much of the sunlight as possible for this shot. The copperhead enters the gel weighing 424 grains. It immediately dumps a tremendous amount of energy. Uh, the total weight of the petals is 100 grains. The main body of the projectile weighing 324 grains at this point makes it completely through the 16 inch block of gel. So you essentially have a slug that has high energy dump and also high penetration. That's something you don't normally see in any type of round. Well that is uh, quite impressive. You got your tape measure? Yeah. Okay. That is a thing of beauty right there. So, yeah, I mean... 16 inch block. 6 by 6 by 16. And we have pedals from... Oh, from 4 inches to... Almost seven and a half to this one. Okay. Beautiful. Awesome. Full and penetration with the, uh, the the main body. Yeah. You see some of the O-rings down inside there? O-rings right in here. I don't know if this is even going to focus. That's a weird thing to focus on. But yeah, just kind of flip it around and you, you can see the pedals, the, you know. We caught seven of them. One of them escaped here. Yeah. This was on the side towards me right here. You got a nice centered shot on that one. Yeah, look at that. With a smooth bore. Beautiful, beautiful wound cavity in there. Looks like a feather. Yeah. Got a few O-ring pieces in there that disintegrated. Yeah, some back here. Yeah. Uh, you notice right here, some of the pieces of O-ring followed the petals out. Yeah. It just the it it's expanded so quickly it just shattered the the O-ring, and uh, clear ballistics is supposed to send us another block, so we'll be able to just keep. Uh, yeah, this one doing went, this again. Yeah, this one went all the way through, so we get another block, we can stack them up and catch the, uh, the, the core. Yeah. 
Awesome. That's awesome, pretty awesome. good penetration there. And, uh, and the one that uh, the one that escaped, we found it on the ground here. Yep. We had a, <laughs> we had a box in behind here for lighting, get a little bit better. Yeah, contrast. It, it looked a little better with the white background than with the brown or whatever. And this one went through the box. Yeah. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. Thanks. I like it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. A big thank you for everyone who has rated the video. Always enjoy reading and replying to your comments. And we also want to acknowledge the generosity of our Patreon supporters. We got an interesting email from Patreon the other day saying how they recommend that we get rid of our $1 tier. It's like, yeah, you can make more money if you just ditch all those people that give $1. And it's like, that's most of our people, you know. And if we did that, we'd be slapping them in the face. So thank you guys for your support. A dollar means a lot to us. Thank you.